Well, here we are then. Weather's miserable outside, so I thought I'd just go through a few things that I've done on the bike over the last uh, 12 months or so. Go around to the inside. You see I've got myself a quad lock. And there's the fitting on the back of the phone. And if we're lucky, push down, click on, there you go. And just make sure it's working. Ping! Up comes the phone. So I use that now with my, uh, as my sat uh, nav. There we go. And uh, there you go. Usually I use Lucas Maps when I'm off-road and on road as well, but I've also got Google Maps as well. So yeah, there we go. Quad lock, really good uh, fixture. See down here as well, got myself uh, my Garmin mount. I've also got a Garmin 600 I use, especially when I'm off-road. And uh, moving across the handlebars, you can see I've got myself the Oxford Hot Grips. Had those for years. Used to have them on my uh, Africa Twin. Really good, really warm, great in the winter. Uh, moving down, here you can see, i just give you a bit of a pointer here. I've got the uh, X-Trig OEM bar mount kit, uh, the PHDS, so uh, a little bit of suspension there on the uh, the handlebars, uh, which I'm really pleased with. And then if you can see as well, down on the front uh, forks, I've also changed things there. So I've got myself the uh, Andriani cartridge kit for the 790. It gives me a lot more freedom now to, uh, to change the suspension setup at the front, which I uh, particularly like when I'm off-road. So yeah, that was a good buy. Down on the tank, got some nice graphics. They come from Italy, from a place called Label Bike. Uh, you've got the 3D fuel cap there, you know, quite nice. And then coming back, you've also got yourself to sort of a bit of adventure stuff there as well. Um, the cable here, it's for my Keys uh, or Keys uh, heated jacket. Had that for years now, really, really good. Uh, especially in this cold weather we've got now. And then moving back, you can see I've got myself a cool cover here. It's off my old Africa Twin, just adjusted it very slightly. And uh, really good, gives you a bit of comfort, also drains away the water so I don't sit on a, a wet bum all the time. And also, when I was in Portugal in Spain in the heat, really good as well, takes the heat away from underneath you. Um, moving to the back here, I thought I'd just show you this. Yes, I'm the guy who managed to break the engine casing. And there you are, in case you haven't seen it, managed to uh, break the bolt off the back here. But uh, thanks to my uh, insurers, I'll just pop that down one side, and uh, to uh, KTM up in... Uh, Tewkesbury here in England, they uh, put it right for me and uh, all good now. 5,000 miles on the new engine casing and no problems at all, it's great. So you can see I've got uh, crispy designs here. I've had that on now for probably oh, a year, really like it. Um, gives me a nice sort of orangey black feel. And as we go on down, you can see here, talking about orange, I've got myself the, the Camel 790 one finger clutch adjustment. Really, really good. I've got a bit of a problem with the wrist after breaking uh, one of the bones on my wrist a uh, year about three years ago so that's really nice takes the pressure off um, this is just the lead for my uh, my uh, battery charger have on all the time just to keep it going go around to the front here and you can see i got myself uh, a pyramid fender extender here takes the extra distance down really good when the weather's mucky and horrible outside always have one of those on and then I got myself a really nice skid plate there from uh, Ian Chapel. Really, really enjoyed that. Uh, get rid of the little tin plate that comes with the original one. Hence the reason why I managed to break my engine casing. Um, here at the front you can see, if you look carefully, I've got a bit of extra height. So I've just put myself in a little uh, extender kit there. And that makes a world of difference. Uh, particularly off-road. Just clears the mud and uh, the dirt a little bit better than usual. Come back to the front. Quick look around. Got myself plastic guards here for the headlight. Really good. Uh, like those. See I've been ar around a few places. And you see quite uh, proud to be one of the members of the Wiltshire TRF but also looking forward to going back to uh, the Pyrenees in May hopefully on a road ride with my mates uh, and as you can see this is where I managed to do my damage when I was on the act with the Iberian, damage, uh, the Iberian Adventure that we did and uh, yeah just scroll around a bit if we can look down in here you can see I've also put in there we go from Camel again the uh, neck brace. Uh, I go off road, thought it was a good investment. Hopefully, uh, it will be over a period of time. Um, if I come down to the uh, come down to the uh, the bottom here, you can see that it's not the stock rear shock. I bought myself a Hyper Pro fully adjustable rear shock. Uh, it tucks in here, and here's the adjustment on the back here. Haven't had a chance to use it off road yet, but uh, looking forward to looking forward to doing that and see if it can. Uh, just the back make it just a little bit softer and uh, there we are i think that's really a quick look around the bike i've just got another couple of things i'm going to 
put on in the next few weeks. Uh, one's just a, not, not an envelope I must admit, just a screen saver here. I've had one on for some time. Um, just one of these, uh, there you go, Speed Angel screen protectors. Uh, gonna pop that on, had one on before. I've just had a new replacement screen, so I'm uh, gonna do that. And a bit of bling, just a couple of pieces here. Again, protectors to go on the side of the engine casing. Um, yeah, put them on, see how they go. Looking forward to it. So there you go, quick look around my bike.